Hello everyone, my name is Karen from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. Today I'm bringing you a video. Um, I had a question by one of my uh, subscribers, how I prepare um, my vinyl records uh, for uh, pouring or, or painting onto them. So today I'm just going to go through a bit of a tutorial on that. So what you need basically for this is of course your records. Um, I get my records at um, a secondhand store and I usually get about up to six or eight records for two dollars depending. They're less than a quarter each normally when I buy them. And I'm going to use some leftover uh, Marquis Bayer paint today. Uh, this one is actually a, a one coat paint. It doesn't really matter which white paint you use. The other product that I'm going to use is this uh, Lepage uh, Spackle. It's 15 minute uh, speed dry. It's by Polyfilla or by Lepage but it's Polyfilla. And then you can also use dry decks. This stuff is actually pink and when it dries it's white so it's pretty cool to use because you know for sure that you know the hole in the center of your record is, uh, is completely dry and filled when you start, so that's a good one to use. But today I'm just going to use a polyfilla. So, you take your records. It doesn't really matter which side that you, that you choose, of course. So you just, this is just regular uh, tape. You can use masking tape, but this is actually just painter's tape. And you're just going to cover your, your hole on one side. Okay, so just like that, then you're going to flip the other side and you're just going to add your polyfilla to the center in the hole here. Just like that. Then you're just going to use, a, I just use a regular painting spatula. And that's pretty much all you do. You just fill her, fill the hole just like you would with a hole in a wall. And you just leave it. This one will take about 15 minutes uh, to dry. And then put that aside. And I already have one record that's already dry. I did that about 20 minutes ago. So here it is. So the next step, and again, you don't necessarily have to gesso or, or put a, a white base coat on these records. You could use any color that you want if you wanted to, or you could just actually pour directly on it. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I really like to prepare them this way. So I'm just using a roller. So I'm just dipping directly into the uh, big bucket of paint here and all you're doing is just painting your record may have put a little bit too much paint this time but let's see if I can scrape some off here Yeah, so that's basically it. Then you just uh, wait for that to dry. Usually, I can usually paint on this within uh, a couple of hours usually, but sometimes I just, I do a whole bunch at a time, uh, eight to 10 at a time, and then I just let them dry overnight. And uh, yeah, and that's about it. So it's ready to be painted. Um, obviously you can still see the tape at the back, but that's not a big deal. Because as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I actually finish the back with a piece of felt. So that's it. Thank you very much for your questions. I will continue to try to answer them with some tutorials as best I can. And thank you for watching.